If you want the gills, we got the skills right here at 302 Fishing. A good evening, welcome back to the channel here. If you're brand new or you're still hanging around and you haven't already done so guys, smash that subscribe button, click that notification bell. Give us that big fat thumbs up if you like this episode, help us out and suggest the videos. And of course, drop a comment below. <laughs> Let's get out here and fish today, guys. We're gonna have a quick session right here. Uh, I really don't care what size fish we catch today. I'm out here mainly for one reason is because I bought something new today, which normally, uh, you know, I don't do too often, but I'm kind of excited when I do get something. We're not going to go into the cost. We're not going to go into the specs or anything else like that, but I'm going to drop it down in the description field below as to what I'm going to say right now in a second as to what I bought. But uh, we've been out here a couple times fishing and um, my tried and true carbon fire speed spools uh, one of them is finally crapped out i've had some couple issues with it and the crank fell off a couple times and i was like you know what now is the right time to probably just upgrade it's the first time uh, i've gone up in price uh, on the reels and uh, i was kind of hesitant doing it but you know what i'm kind of glad that i'm doing it. i put a whole lot of time in this channel and uh we're, we're having a great time here guys i cannot say any more about how humble myself and the Oakstar are uh, with you guys. The subscriber numbers are going through the roof, guys. You've already got us halfway to our goal. As I mentioned to you at the beginning of the year, our goal was to be at 3,000 subscribers, and uh, we're just about within a couple of subscribers being 2,500, halfway, guys. So keep hitting that button, man. Change it from red to gray, man. We love you guys, and of course, we appreciate all of those folks from the beginning all the way to uh, the most current date here uh, of watching our episode. So, man we truly love you and we appreciate you and of course we're going to come out here and bring out quality episodes each and every time but here we go guys this is the reel we went with today we went with the tournament mp speed spool lfs uh the model number right here is the ts1 shmp uh 75 to 1 is the gear ratio on this reel and i paired it up guys i'm sure you've already seen it already we've uh mentioned it multiple times the veritas plx man so i think this is going to be a very very good compliment right here these two so we're going to get ready to jump onto this pond right here that's right out in this area right here small one about five minutes up the road from me we're going to pop on a bandito bug summer crawl and just toss it all around there guys and uh hopefully within about an hour an hour and a half that's what we're going to spend we get a big fat green bean bag on the end of the line. So let's cross our fingers and make sure that happens. But if it doesn't, and we get a whole bunch of fish, that's just as good. So let me get out here, guys. Let's start casting around and let's make it happen. So we got a little bit of wind that we got to contend with right here. It's not too bad right now. I do have a little bit of a weight on there. I think it's a 16th of an ounce uh, on the end of the line right here with the Bandito bug. But the main thing I like to look for first when I'm getting a reel here is how does it fit in my hand? Most of the times, uh, you see a lot of fishermen, they like cupping their reel in their hands, and, and you want it to fit like you're holding a ball in your hands. And that's basically how this reel fits in my hand right now. It's the same as the other two reels. Not much of a difference in size, so I'm kind of glad for that, that it stays that way, because sometimes these reels do come in a little bit bigger sizes, and uh, if you're a guy with an average size to, uh, set of hands or somebody's got small hands, it's going to be tough to hold this bigger reel. So this is kind of like a go-between, and any Anybody and everybody can go ahead and use this reel. Uh, one thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and try to dial them up the reel in and everything else. So obviously I want to make sure that uh, we use the uh, tensioner uh, button right here to go ahead and try to make sure that uh, the bait is descending off the rod in a proper fashion. I've already set the brake on here, the magnetic brake. Uh, I'm going to go with a different setting this time. Normally I have mine on 9, but I've watched a couple of videos and they kind of recommend you just be in the middle, be at 5. So I'm going to see how that goes. Try that for the first time. If I'm not comfortable with it, then I'll just slide back to that setting. But uh, the tensioner, obviously you can see the bait's going to fall off the bait at a rapid pace, which is not really what you want here. You kind of want it to basically fall off in a... <laughs> Hold on a second here. No, no wonder. Give me a second, guys. Let me fix the... Uh, the bobber stopped there, that's the problem right now. Reel that back up, now we'll go ahead and do the drop. And you can see it's falling fairly quickly right now, so we need to turn the tensioner towards the bait, that tightens it up. When you turn it this way towards yourself, that loosens it up. So we want that to come down a little bit slower pace. So just give it a couple cranks, drop it, and just see how the pace is. If it's going too fast for you, just give a couple more clicks on the uh, dial. 
and this thing's turned all the way back so we gotta give it a couple more cranks like i said you're literally coming out the box with this reel right now but that's kind of the pace right there that i want right now watch when i uh, click the bail right here and see how slowly it comes off that's just about the pace you want that to come off of so let me throw a cast real quick and perfectly comes right off there man boom all right that does cast very very smoothly right now so we're going to get started we're going to try to see if we can catch some fish in this uh windy session here wind is in our face right now so we assume that the bait fish are going to be up in here so hopefully we're going to get the strikes right here that's what i look for first when i came on this pond right now where's the wind blowing because normally i start off on the back end over there and uh i want to be where i think the fish will be but let's get the cast off there and let's uh see if we can pull up a couple of uh, fish here Yep, fish on. Fish on already, guys. First strike. <laughs> Starting off with a little dink. As soon as I went into the water. All right. <laughs> Boom. All right. Start her off with a little dinky dink. <laughs> and she's gone. You gotta love when you make your first cast and you get a fish right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> but uh right now we've got the uh, bait out there we're gonna try a couple of ways of retrieve here to go ahead and get these fish on the end of the line right now i'm just gonna go ahead and do a crawl across the bottom like slow roll the bait on the bottom and then the next one obviously we'd be doing a little bit of jigging right there and uh right off the bat right now as soon as i'm cranking here this reel is smooth as butter <laughs> But uh, let's see uh, how these fish react. Again, that was on the drop right now, so we don't even know which way these fish want to bite. But again, I'm not surprised we got a fish right here because again, wind's blowing against the shoreline. Bait fish should be somewhere around. Super, super clear water. These fish should have no problem seeing that summer crawl. I am the only soul on this pond right now. I came here... Uh, about three or four days ago, I wanted to pop out here real quick, and they must have had like a, a camping kind of jamboree or something like that. And uh, everybody and their mother had their tents popped up, and <laughs> I wasn't gonna have that. But uh, let's let's see how long it takes for us to get a decent sized bass, two pounds and above. That'll make me happy. I'm not seeing again any uh, kind of. Uh, bluegills or minnows here on this pond close. Oh, there's a fish right there. Let's see if the fish is moving. Is he moving with it? There you go. Fish on. All right. Nice. All right. We're getting to be productive here. Man, I love this summer crawl, man. These fish are savaging this color. There you go, same thing. Another, another little dink here. Looks like he uh, avoided the claws of death right there from an osprey. <laughs> but she's gone. Sounds pretty when she casts. <laughs> But uh, hopefully we can try to battle through these dinks and find a decent one. I love how quiet this reel is, man. That's a far cry from uh, the other two reels I have, man. You can hear them. Even when you grease them up, man, they uh, sound like they're grinding away, making all kinds of clunky noises. But boy, it casts a, a pretty good distance out there. Let's cast along this shoreline right here. End of the wind seems to be fine. Yeah, right off the bat, there's another one. They're showing nice. All right, they're getting slightly bigger. <laughs> All right. 
pretty pretty colors on this bass I love the ones that have the nice bronze looking color in the eyes right there but uh, nice golds nice little white uh, fins right there they look really good but uh, some healthy little dinks in here I'm gonna fix my drag here We got a lone croaker out here. <laughs> the surprise of frogs are croaking out here as chilly as it is. It's barely mid 50s right now. The wind is about, I'd say maybe 5, 10 at the most in gust. trying to look down in this water to see if I can see anything. It's kind of hard with all these ripples going on right now. We are fishing post frontal. Uh, we had a pretty good storm come through this area uh, yesterday. Dropped some hail and uh, vicious rains and heavy winds. I was actually down in the Millsboro area. We're in Dover right now. And uh, we barely got anything going on, but there was a lot of wind down there. But uh, we have an episode that's going to be coming up right now. It's uh, it quite eventful, guys. Let's just say that. <laughs> but uh, we're just going to keep moving along here. Uh, so far right now, we're not getting any love taps. Just a few dinks that you saw right in front of you. I think once we get a little further up the shoreline now we should have a little bit more success. Oh, there's a hit right there. Fish on. There he, oh, he came off. <laughs> he was biting on the end of it. Another dink here hiding in the uh, algae. This reel here, the uh, gear ratio is 7.5 to 1. That's the one we're using right now. You can get them in multiple gears, uh, ratios that is. Uh, again, the link's right down below. I'll give you a pretty simple site to go to, and you can pick uh, your uh, reel out of the litter right there. Obviously, left and right-handed reels available. But uh, like I said, we got lucky, and this is the only right-hand reel at the store. <laughs> they were all left-handed. But the Oakster... He fishes left-handed, even though he's a right-handed guy. Or cranks left-handed, I'm sorry. I don't know why. He's a weirdo anyway, but <laughs> he catches more fish than I do, so I ain't going to complain. Brings awesome content to this channel when he's appearing. But just quick little jabs just to get that bait moving so they can kind of peek out up out of this algae and see that bait moving. Just little rapid-fire shots. There we go. Oh. I don't know if he's running or not. He's running. Ah, oh, he missed it. <laughs> As we're going around here fishing, if you want to drop a like or a dislike about this reel, um, I'm more than willing to listen to anything that you guys say as to uh, the pros and cons of this reel. Again, it's a tournament. MP Lose Speed Spool LFS. That's the one I have right now. And uh, let me know what you guys think about this reel. So far, I'm liking it, but you know, maybe something's happened with this reel that somebody's already had experience with on this. I'd like to know that, or give me a plus. Maybe there's a, a hack I can do on this thing, or I don't know. I'm always open to uh, the ideas and suggestions, and of course, critiques. And of course, if you haven't. Oh, Man, that was a nice hit. It's coming right at me, coming right at me. There you go, fish on. There you go. That line was really, really slack. <laughs> All right. Fishy, fishy.
There we go. Another dink in hand. Another dink back in the pond. You're going the wrong way there, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna flip the bandito bug and I'm gonna keep the chartreuse or the summer crawl side up. See if that makes a bit of difference here. And I forgot to bring down my uh, peg air. All right, man, there's got to be something bigger in here besides these little uh, miniatures. Let's keep walking here. Again, just working this shoreline first as we work our way up this uh, pond. There we go. There's a slight drop off as we go further along the shoreline right now. So I'm hoping that maybe there's something sitting right at that drop there. Maybe there's big ones ambushing stuff there. Let's kind of do a little bit of crawl action here. There's a hit right there. Fish on. Yep. Totally missed him. Got a little too quick on that one, guys. See, he ripped the, he ripped the bait off right there. <laughs> this one about had it. You can see it's all split up already. I'm surprised the bait lasted that long. Here's that uh, summer crawl color. This is, again, the bandito bug we're using this time rather than a kraken crawl, but you can see how that chartreuse just pops out and why these fish just can't resist that color, man. Dink seem to love it right now. <laughs> all right, always remember to pop all the little appendages apart. Most people tend to know, because uh, they've been watching our channel for a while, they know the line that we're using, but the line I spooled up on uh, this particular reel that we're trying to uh, work and review here is a Berkley Trilene XL Smooth. 12 pound test is what we like to use. Uh, we love the quality of this line. We rarely lose fish through breakage uh, and uh, super strong and uh, does tend to go through and uh, take a beating because we do do some fishing <laughs> in some crazy places and uh, you know you want to make sure you have a line that you can rely on. Uh, I used to be a a P-line guy, man, but uh, I started using it a couple years ago and I was, I was losing a whole bunch of fish and then the Oakster finally convinced me to get onto this line and I haven't changed my mind since. I mean, he's convinced me absolutely to continue to use this line. So we always use it through different pound ranges depending on kind of rods and kind of fish that we're going for. But if you want to have a starter line that you want to use, if you're brand new, you're out the fishing and everything else, use this line. I, that, in my opinion, that's what I, I think this is a perfect in-between line that you can use. I think on average, and again, I'll put the link down in the, into the description field below, but I think it's like eight bucks or something like that for like 300 yards or something like that. I can't remember. But we're going to keep moving. We're not getting any bites over in this section here. But we've got to get through this section here and I'm kind of walking kind of gingerish because I think I kind of slightly tweaked my left knee feeling a little slight discomfort going on here there's a hit there's a hit fish on all right <laughs> took a little bit but we got another bite on this one seems like it's the heaviest out of all of them so far. Whoa. A little uh, aggressive there, buddy. You need to calm down. <laughs> and she's gone. We ended up with a dink fest today, but it is what it is. But hey, that summer crawl, man, that thing's gonna be fire, man, once things start warming up a little bit more, man. Those dinks are tearing it up, but I know once these bigger ones start coming in close, they're gonna keep tearing that bait up too as well. 
Uh, we haven't had a really big one on that one there, except for maybe a two pounder, but that's about it. But I want those big fat green bean bags on the end of that line. So that's gonna be an awesome bait uh, coming here spring and summer. So we'll put that off to the side. Again, the main focus here is the reel that we're using. Again, here is uh, the model that we're using. Again, TS1 SHMP. If it's a left-hand side, it'll have an L at the end. But again, the tournament series, uh, Speed Spool LFS. Uh, that is the uh, brand that we're using. I love loose speed spools, but again, it looks really super sexy right on this uh, Veritas PLX, and it did its job. I mean, I think it's far better uh, than the reel that I had on there. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm on a budget, and you gotta, you know, work with what you have, but once you're able to upgrade, you can clearly tell the difference on these things. But same weight, guys. Uh, again, fits perfectly in the palm. Uh, again, I only had maybe one small backlash on here. Uh, I worked on that uh, number five instead of nine that I normally work on with the, uh, the brakes right there. And again, the tensioner's got a nice smooth turn to it and everything else. And I'm telling you right now, man, that crank is buttery as anything right now. I mean, I was just moving it and it just felt like it was just rolling right across it, man. Nice and slick, man. So uh, I think I'm going to have fun with this thing, man. It's pairing up pretty well with this uh, Veritas PLX. Uh, again, I'm sorry I didn't catch any giants here, but... Uh, if I had to recommend this reel, I mean, again, it's only my first day out with this reel, but uh, on first impressions, man, I, I, it's a it's a good reel, man. Uh, again, the class of uh, reel between what I've had before to this one right here uh, is exponential. But again, as I mentioned earlier in, in the episode, if guys got pros and cons about it, or uh, there's something that may have gone wrong, there's a recalls or anything else like that, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what's up. But uh, I'm going to keep working with this thing, man, and I'm hoping it brings me uh, years of service and, again, some big, fat green bean bags along the way. But I hope you liked this episode, guys. If you did, give us a big, fat thumbs up, man, right down there at the bottom. Click that. That helps us out here and try to grow on our channel. And, of course, put us out there in the suggestive videos. Click subscribe. Push that notification bell. Share this video out. I'm hoping you guys have a great weekend. I'm hoping you're catching bigger fish than I caught today because uh, that was quite pitiful with all those dinks that we had. But uh, I'm going to get out of here. And as always, guys, fish on.